so, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm totally fired up. I feel so much inspiration and just like, there's just the fire. <laughs> All right, so we got 50 minutes of sleep and it's time to go to class now, so. Here's the outfit. There's the belly bump. The <laughs> she's, thing ever. she's coming with. Okay, let's go get some learning. I'm excited, we were just talking about this. I think the thing I'm most excited about is to get re-inspired and re-motivated to like just try new things. And I think it's good for every stylist to just kind of like get out of their comfort zone and try something totally new and exciting. Okay, now we're here. here now it it's is. official. Now we are here. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay, it's time to go in because I think we're actually late. Yeah, All right, this is Sean. He's gonna give us a little tour of the Red King Exchange. Yeah. First of all, can you see the difference in this mannequin from the one I just bought? See, this is a beautiful mannequin. She's gorgeous. So, yeah, come on over this way. Okay, let's go. So it looks like Sean, we have like. Hi. Look at all these shampoo bowls. So this is our 46th Street workshop area. So we'll be starting here this morning. We alternate between here and the theater for our workshops. So this is where we'll be starting this morning. Over here you can see all of our stations to work with. So we've got everything set up for you. Mannequin heads. You'll notice your blow dryer is going to be inside that cupboard there on the side. Through here. So when we're doing our shampoos, feel free to use all the products anywhere you want. We've got a shelf here and oh, over here. We've got more bountiful goods. Oh, that's so the goodie go cover. For, yeah, oh, all guys. You just fill your bags up with this right here. Yeah. Exactly. Dump it in. <laughs> color bar, color of course. Bar. Our favorite part. Love, so we've got love, all love of it. our products, all of our color, all of the tools that you're going to need set out here for you. So love this. Spoil for this is so fun. I don't know why we get so excited about this stuff. <laughs> we do. And like bags. It's color and bags, right? Yeah, totally. And shoes. Yeah. And some shoes. <laughs> Just give me some free bags with color in it and I'm the happiest girl ever. <laughs> Hi ladies. And men. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. What? Love him. Love him. Adam. Red is in the I house. Need to Welcome to New York City on 465 Fifth Avenue, New York City, oh, live. Oh, baby. Okay, you need to do a 360 right now. Let's check out the hair. Yeah, oh, got the oh, man he's bun. That man bun. Ow. Ow. No, That's so bad. <laughs> man bun. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and whatever it is, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. We're good. Woo! Oh, I just hit the projector with my phone. <laughs> Focus and energy, so why don't we do focus energy, right? Yeah. 
So on one, three, two, one. Focus energy. Exchange. So this class, mix master, is something that's very close to my heart. It's something that we have really poured our heart and soul into and taken some risks with. It's how to use things in a way that you might not like what you might not see on the box. Okay, to give you some out of the box ideas, but they still fit into the realm. There's nothing too off the chart. Putting them all onto one head, that's going to actually give you a technique when you leave here. But what I want you to think about while we're doing this is that you might just do a whole head in that one application method. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we're going to combine them to maximize our first start with a center parting, straight down, all the way to the center back. Yeah, so here's a great tip for you to, if you don't, because everyone's head is going to be different as well. So to assume that the round begins where we put a horseshoe, a horseshoe isn't going to be the same on everyone's hair. So what you can do is place a flat surface like the comb there and see where that goes to rock off. That is going to be where that head is beveled. So you can see the comb is straight. Here is where the head goes to round. So right through there, we're going to separate the top thing. Because we're going to be freehand painting, we don't want to get the hair all like kinked and crimped up and, and curly. It's actually going to be easier for us if the hair is straight and smoother. So to help us with that, the same thing with our sectioning. Instead of twisting these up into tight little knots, what you're going to do is take your clip, legs up, and go that way. So that way the hair won't fall out, and it's also not going to give us any texture when we release that clip. So you should have two sections through the front on each side. Do you remember me telling you about Erica? My, my um, mannequin head that I had in hair school? They have all Erica's here. I'm so excited. I don't even know how, like she looks the exact same. It's been 13 years and she hasn't aged at all. Explaining a technique, showing it to us, telling us why, and then saying, go over and try it. So, we got to try every single technique they explained, and I'm so excited to see how it turns out. So, like, I, I really don't have a ton of time to film because I gotta eat really fast, and then we're back to work. Like, it's intense, but it is seriously the best education you could ask for anywhere. I'm like four amazing hairstylists coming around and just helping you out, giving you tips, saying, oh, if you try moving over here just a little bit, it helps. So I've, I've learned so much. I'm excited to share it with you guys because this new, like, it's like three or four techniques combined into one, and I'm, I think it's gonna be really pretty. So the first half of the day was a lot of learning a technique and doing it, and now I think they're gonna go over color, lines and what they do and they can see all the product up there on the table. <laughs> When we think about a demi-permanent or a quasi-permanent, semi-permanent color that is a cool color, it will always give the impression of being darker. Okay, so this is key. So if you think about zero to nine feet, people are like, oh, it went way darker. Well, it will, 
because 0 known p is really about 8.12 or 3. Um, I love shades of hue. It's one of my colours that I really couldn't live without. And from a business point of view, I got you. From a business point of view, it means that we upsell our services, right? And it's a value-added service. So it's a really big money-making tool as well as a um, tool that makes our guests really happy as well. Better litho chart, it'll say up to 20 minutes, so there is a right. toning. So there really is no standard set time on that because there are times where you could be the mix master and have the most genius formula of like just the smallest amount of 09B and mostly clear, but that hair still could grab in the zone two area and, and go too dark. So for toning, it's definitely, we recommend 20 to be the best option, but if it can't always get there, then you know you can cut that timing down as needed. What you wanna think about is every time you're shaving off time off of your end result, you're shaving off a shampoo, basically. Yes. It's almost like every minute is a shampoo. Right. And here's the reality. Yes. If you mix any products together that aren't meant to, okay. and you get sued, you're done. Okay, so this is important for everyone to understand. Shade TQ processing solution is the product that we mix with it. This is <coughs> 2 vol, sorry, 2%, okay? So it's under 10 vol, I think it's 6 vol, right? So it's very gentle. I, to be honest with you, rarely touch permanent hair color at all. Between shades cream, cover, plus, and gloss, that's my go-to's. Yeah. Now, the why is, for a lot of clients, until they hit a certain point where they're like super gray, there's really, you know, only a little bit of gray usually around the front hairline, <laughs> and the rest is still pretty much like their virgin hair color. I don't want to start affecting them with permanent color yet at this point in the game, so this is a great tool to give me that great coverage without having to put them on a permanent color. Like blondes. So get them lighter than you want, or brighter than you want, and then you tone them back. So our reds, we make them bright red, and then we'll tone them back so they're not as bright. Once they fade and once they get a regrowth, they get brighter rather than weaker. So instead of your colors wearing out, they wear in. Separated. So this uh, chemist figured this out, right? So the way oil delivery system works is you have, first of all, you have an alkalizing agent. This is very important. So what's different with ODS is it does have an alkalizing agent and it's called MEA, methyl ethanolamine. We have the same amount of MEA in our permanent color line chromatics as most competitors have in their demi-permanent colors. So a lot of our competitors that say their colors are demi-permanent, they're not, they're actually permanent. It can be used before you even start your highlight, so sometimes I'll do the base break all over and then wash it and then go back in and highlight, or it can be used as a retouch in between highlighting services. So say for example, you base broke her with foils the first time, then she comes in four weeks later, she doesn't really need a full foil, but she just wants to take the edge off of that. You can just use this as a regular retouch in that scenario. Longevity, or whether they're looking for that actual tone, okay? So this is part of that process. So when we're thinking about this, putting it into play. Now we had a, a lovely lady in the audience who has copper hair and was wondering why the copper wasn't necessarily lasting. So can we use you as a scenario to help you find out how to get the best <coughs> orange copper you can get, yeah? Okay. And that's what we're going to do now. What we'd love you to do is to go out into the theatre, uh, to the workshop, and rinse all of the heads that you've done today. Oh, yeah. Right? It's like 9 o'clock and we are starving. We fell, like I fell asleep at least, because <laughs> I was so tired. And then I woke up and I was like, okay, now I'm so hungry, so we're going to go get some dinner. But I think it's so cool to see the whole entire building lit up. And all of our mannequins in there drying. I'm excited to see the color. What? Look how amazing this is. Can you? I, like, it's not even. It's so. Like, it's crazy. It's so bright because of all the lights and everything. It's insane. Okay, you guys can tell how bright it is out here. It looks like an overcast day because it's like 11 o'clock at night. So you can rest your brush or your scalp, your scalp, your <laughs> spatula, whatever it is that you're using and it normally doesn't fall and yep. like slide into your product so what you could do is do address the dot first exactly the same way as we're doing here then afterwards when you glaze you can use shades EQ gloss over all of it but in between you can introduce some darker pieces not too dark so remember it's going to grab <laughs> Yeah. 
Orange high fusion. What color is that? Orange. orange. Okay, and we're going to work orange high fusion on a section just below zone one that stretches down about two inches. And then we're going to take, what's our second color? Red. We're going to leave a gap and we're going to pop that down. And I think it's just like an artist when you're doing a picture. Intuitively, you are colouring to achieve a result. Do I plan it to the nth degree? No, I'm kind of feeling what I want to achieve through there. Um, and I know I, I want to achieve that shattered kind of effect, so I'm just keeping that in mind when I'm creating the look. We just got an Uber. We are on our way to go to the YouTube space to check that out. How YouTube space? I've never been to any of them. I know there's one in Vegas, and I just haven't been. So we're excited. We'll get a little tour of that. But we're also meeting Steven, the salon guy. Hidden inside the Chelsea Market is the YouTube elevator. We found it. Yes. Seriously, guess who I found oh at YouTube space? It's me. Steven, the salon guy. Uh, hey, I'm so happy to meet you in yeah, person. You too. You're just as pretty in person. Aww. Hey, you're so you know, nice. I was hoping to meet Iggy Azalea. I know, but she's not here. You're actually hard. I forgot she's the so wig. Well, thanks. <laughs> but I'm a little sad that your beard's not super long, like I thought what? it was going to be. Are you like, I, I was doing this because I was tired of dudes saying, yo, it's a cool beard, man. It was all about guys like my beard, and women were like, eh. So oh. I shaved it because I wanted to feel a little more clean cut and just. And of course, you as a female was like, eh, I don't like it. I shaved it off so women would like it. Ah. <laughs> So we are in the diner scene. I'm gonna pretend like I'm a customer and I'm gonna be really rude to the waiter. Uh, yes, uh, welcome Don't to- Don't talk to me right now. Uh, whatever. So I'll let you know. Wait, oh, hey. come back, I want my water. See how rude Too I late. can be? You were, you were so rude, no water. Hashtag best actress ever. <laughs> Look, this is where I would live if I was in the YouTube space. In the hair and makeup lounge. Oh, they have a little dryer for washing your hair. Yep. Awesome lighting. This is awesome. Let's see the big one. Look at this one, ready? Oh, it has a freaking yeah, toilet. Oh, and a shower. Oh, okay, we need a picture in here. Oh, wow. Look at these bright lights. Oh, lights, camera, gosh. action. <laughs> this is so cool, you guys. Now we're so, in this room. What, is this where you've been editing? The edit suite. Um, an editing oh, suite. Sweet. It's so sweet, sweet edit suite. This is a makeover turn, video turn I did. Up louder. Now watch this. Take this out. This is what he does, guys. And she's got really, really nice, full, curly hair. So what I'm planning on doing is actually bringing this up to about right here. So um, I was like, oh, Stephen, no, trim up the back of my hair a little bit because I'm going to blogger fair yeah. and I need and it. Can, and he's doing yeah, it for I'm me. really good at this. So and I think we're going to make him put a video on his channel so you guys can go check that out when it's up. I like it when it hurts, it's fine. She likes I haven't changed my razor, that's the thing. I haven't changed this in like quite some time. You're fine. I don't even care. The fire is going up on Chelsea Market and all the fire trucks are We might have to walk down this way. Let's get out of the way. Let's walk down this way. Please. We were in Please there fire. and we ran out and these guys are going in. See, those are the heroes. How are we practicing that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the pictures, we're doing three poses. We hang on the cap, okay? I count it out and Janelle do the photo. One, two, three, hang on the cap. Woo! Woo! Two, three. Perfect. Okay, I'm in the contest officially, number one. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this mannequin that we did the tortoise shell. So it's a really cool technique. I will do a video on it. But now we're going to be putting these high fusion blues, purples, and like a pink pretty much on top of it to glaze and to sort of kind of like a fun pattern. It's called the Lux Blur. So here we go. So we just finished up this really cool technique. It's called Lux Blur, and they're doing it right here. I'm gonna show you what mine looks like really fast, and I'll come back and show you how they're doing it. So 
So you can see all these really pretty colors that kind of just melt into each other but are still separated. They did a violet, a blue, and a, like a 9RV, right? 9 yeah, RV. that's right. Yeah. Red violet. A peachy. But it's like this really pretty corally peach color. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's so pretty on the hair. On my hair. It looks, looks so, uh, yeah, look good on your hair. You hair. should do it on your hair. I even have little ginger. So, so, so the way this works is good. pretty much we create like a checkerboard technique on here. So we just literally lay this straight on top of other color and we create this pattern. So once we've got a pattern here with one color, we'll lay another color. So we've got pink here, then we'll put purple in and we'll put purple in between these pieces. Not too exact, oh, I love but not that. too messy either. That's what I love about it is you can just like, you have your canvas and you're just creating and painting. And I would do different stuff on every section like you yeah. were saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, it's like blue. a little That's bit the too blue. Crazy, It will oxidate so. and look blue, but look at that. Okay, cool. So Isn't once we've cool? got to that point, what we do then is we grab this great tool called a Redken Blur Brush. And what we're going to do is integrate these sections and really just work through. This is where we uh, we sort of channel our Andy Warhol, Jackson Pollock kind of vibe mm -hmm. and get that freedom and that color through there. So, cool. so you'll see it's really chaotic and free, but it ends up looking amazing. So here's one that we prepared earlier. Oh yeah, let's see this one. So as it oxidizes now, you're gonna see these colors really come Beautiful. up. Beautiful, yeah, and the light. So uh, yes. we can show you the finished result a little later. See, I love how that's just like blocked out. So yeah. Really fun stuff. Okay, Chris just taught us the most beautiful way to blow dry the hair on this mannequin. And I'm gonna do it. Seriously, I'm going to put the mannequin head in here with me so that I don't feel stupid and <laughs> makes me laugh instead of cry. Um, this experience, you guys, has been incredible for me. Um, specifically in the area of just being inspired again. Um, not because I don't love hair, and I kind of shared this in the class a little bit too, but more because of my situation right now. It's just really, it's hard for me. Um, it's hard for me to physically get past the being uncomfortable, being pregnant, and still wanting to work hard. Um, it's really easy for me when I'm pregnant to just be like, oh, I'm gonna just quit doing hair or do a really little bit. And even with the videos that I've been posting, I know you guys have been like, where's all the cuts and colors? We need more cuts and colors. And like, those are really hard for me right now, especially doing something amazing because you need to dedicate five or six hours, eight hours sometimes to that head, that person, to be able to create something that's really video worthy and beautiful. And I want to create that for you guys, but I've been in a rut. I'm just gonna say it, I've been in a rut. So, I know that we all get in that sometimes. Maybe it's situational, maybe it's more medical, maybe it's something like you're pregnant, maybe it's just you don't 
maybe you had a bad day. Maybe you gave someone something that you were like, I just didn't like how that turned out. Or maybe there's a new technique that you just don't know how to do. Whatever it is, if you're feeling like a, you're in a rut, this has been the most inspiring thing you I have ever done and I guarantee you will ever do. If you want to come to the Redkin Exchange, I promise you, you will not regret it. It's unlike anything that you could ever imagine. It's unlike any show you could go to. I mean, I went to the Redkin Symposium. Yes, that was an incredible experience, but you can't really compare the two because it's like apples and oranges. That one is so much more information. I mean, almost so much that you couldn't possibly even retain all of it. And there's like 100 classes and you can only pick six because realistically you can't be in four places at one time and they have classes going on at the same time. And then you're one of a thousand people in a room with someone on the stage, which is cool. Take good notes, you can retain some of that. But there's nothing that replaces the, we have 15 people in our class and four professional instructors, I mean, amazing people that were here to answer questions, help you correct any mistakes you're doing. I mean, just literally, that's like four, three to four people per instructor. They were right there by us the entire time like holding our hand and strapping us through, making sure everything made sense. And it's, and it's invaluable, it's irreplaceable. And I just feel so blessed to be able to have this experience at all. It's very humbling and it's, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm totally fired up. I feel so much inspiration and just like, there's this fire that I can sit down and, and even endure some pain for you guys because I want to show this these amazing techniques and I mean we learned color placement formulation trends you name it and not just learned it but actually like not just like heard about it or saw it we actually did it and recreated and played and I mean the mixing the color everything it just opens your mind and you retain it so much better, I think, when you're in that situation. And I get to bring home not one, but two Erica's, which I've told you guys this before, but this is my mannequin that I had in beauty school. And I don't know why, but it just makes me like, really like sentimental seeing her again. It's so funny, whatever, I'm a weirdo. But I got my dollies and I got more than I could have ever imagined from this experience. And my ears pop now because I'm trying not to cry. Um, yeah, so please, if you guys, so go sign up. I mean, it's worth every penny. Get yourself to New York, sign up for any one of their classes. I'm sure they're all incredible. Yes, this is my only one I've done as the mixed master, but I saw the other, the cutting, the uppercut class. I saw the things they were doing and I was actually really jealous that I wasn't in that one too because I wanted to just do them all. Um, comment below, you guys. Let me know if you've been to the Redkin Exchange. And I want to hear your experience also. And if you haven't been to the exchange, comment below and tell me when you're going because you need to go. And I really benefit not at all from saying that. It's, I just really, I'm telling you this because it has been life changing for me. And I want you guys to experience that too. And yes, I'm going to show you what I learned from this class in lots of different videos, but they have several other classes and I haven't taken those yet. Get on it as soon as you can. And thanks, you guys, for going on this journey with me because that's been so much fun, too. I love you all. See ya.